she did text me. I'm like, no, I don't know. I mean, I can Good morning. A special welcome to all of you who are visiting St. Teresa's. Today we celebrate the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. As we begin our Mass, let us all stand up and say hello to our neighbors, introduce ourselves to those you don't know, and say hi to those you do. Please join us singing our opening song, All Are Welcome, All Belong, which can be found in number 924 in your Gather Hymnal, number 924 in your Gray Gather Hymnal. For you are God's own. 
of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And a welcome to all of you. I know it's a very busy day in the city with triathlons and other events have closed roads uh, and pathways, so um, thank you for making it here on this beautiful, beautiful sun Sunday uh, as we inch towards autumn, slowly but surely. And we gather with people from lots of parts of the, the country and the world. We still have about, as Jason said, about 75 to 80 households viewing every week, which is absolutely astounding. So uh, we still have lots of people viewing, uh, live streaming. So welcome to all those from various parts of the country and even the world. And we have um, a missionary, actually two missionaries here today. Um, Sister Rose, who I'll introduce at uh, the time of the homily. And our parishioner, our wonderful Sister Alex, where is she? she's right here. She, um, is our, she's our claim to fame for having a parishioner join a religious community. She's a sister, a nun of the Daughters of Charity. So she's back here visiting her family. Uh, and she was a part of this parish, she is a part of this parish, and uh, she ministers primarily in Texas at this point, lives in Texas. So we have Sister Alex and Sister Rose to grace us uh, with their prayerful and, and beautiful presence. So thank you, thank you all. So as we prepare to open our hearts to the beauty of the word, which introduces us to Peter and the Petrine office, the office of the Pope, the Bishop of Rome originates in the, today's gospel. So we, uh, we turn as a community of faith and we ask God to embrace us with mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the, of, of the living God. Lord, have mercy. You are the Prince of Peace. Christ, have mercy. You are the Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Be Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us sing the praises of our God. adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, oh God, almighty Father, glory. to people of 
sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the many uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true joy is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to Shebna, master of the palace, I will thrust you from your office and pull you down from your station. On that day, I will summon my servant Eliakim, son of Hilkiah. I will clothe him with your robe and gird him with your sash and give over to him your authority. He shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. I will place the key of the house of David on Eliakim's shoulder. When he opens, no one shall shut. When he shuts, no one shall open. I will fix him like a peg in a sure spot to be a place of honor for his family. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Work of 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Oh, the depths of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How inscrutable are his judgments and how, how unsearchable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord or who has been his counselor or who has given the Lord anything that he may be repaid? For from him, and through him, and for him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi and asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elisha, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. And he said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ, the son of a living God. And then Jesus said to him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ.
the Gospel of the Lord. Once again, thank you all for coming on this busy Sunday, traffic-wise, as the triathlon is, is taking place. Welcome to all of our, our visitors. And this gospel is foundational. The keys, the keys of Peter. This is the foundation, the root of the ministry of Peter in the church that lives and breathes in the Bishop of Rome, uh, the Pope. And Peter, of course, is Peter, and the one who succeeded Peter would be the first pope, if you will. And we've had 265 of them, and they build the church not on power, not on domination, but on the Christ, the Son of the living God. That is the foundation of the ministry of the Bishop of Rome, is to be Christ and to confirm us in faith, not to control not to dominate, um, but to be a living sign of Christ in the church, a living sign of unity. And we pray for the Bishop of Rome. We pray for the successor of Peter, that he will do his best to bringing us together and to confirming our faith, uh, better to confirm us rather than to control us. And we are so fortunate, as I mentioned, two sisters are with us today. Sister Alex is a parishioner, Daughters of Charity, and she's in her novitiate in Texas. So welcome once again, Sister Alex and her family. And we also have Sister Rose, um, a beautiful missionary of the providence of St. Paul. And she's from a beautiful country. And as you know, in every August, we have uh, a mission, a, a missionary come to speak to us. They are the living sign of Christ. They are the foundation of the church's mission to go out into the world. So we look to her to lead us to Christ, the Son of the living God, and to share with us her, her beautiful mission uh, to those who are struggling, to those who are poor, particularly the young, and so I, I, I welcome Sister Rose to come forward. Thank you. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning. Thank you, Father, for introducing me. Thank you, all of you, for allowing me to come here and share our mission with you. I am still learning English, but try to understand the main idea why I am here and help me to correct my English after mass. <laughs> so, our congregation, I am Sister Rosa Ange, from the Congregation of Sisters of Providence of St. Paul in Kara, Togo, in West Africa. Our congregation was founded in 1975, and our charism is hospitality. This charism is deeply rooted in our cultural values. Usually when we think of hospitality, we think of food, drink, shelter, and health for the unknown person we encounter. And today's gospel, we heard that you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Let us see the face of Christ, the living God, through the most vulnerable, such as orphans, elderly, abandoned girls with their children, those with mental and physical disabilities, the suffering, the sick, the homeless, and people abandoned by society, and come to their help. This is the mission of all of us here, and the mission of Sisters of Providence of St. Paul. We welcome everyone, especially the most vulnerable. This form of hospitality we render requires a lot of material and financial support. We have been 
facing challenges, knowing that our congregation is very young and local. Sometimes we find ourselves in some situation we are totally helpless. And you may ask our mission, what is our mission? So we care of 180 orphans, 52 elderly, 20 abandoned girls with their children, 42 people with physical and mental disabilities, the suffering, the homeless, and sick, the sick people. In fact, we welcome everyone in need. So I am here on behalf of my congregation, inviting you to join us in expanding Jesus' hospitality in Togo and worldwide. Your generosity will help people in need in my country. In Luke chapter, chapter 10, verse 25 to 27, Jesus calls us to be a good Samaritans and explains that people should love everyone, including those we have never seen in our journey. Moreover, in the first reading, we see God encouraging us while saying, I will clothe him with your robe and gird him with your sack and give over to him your authority. We are here reaching out to you to join us in this ministry and if you wish to give better hospitality to the orphans in Togo. Join us to expand, extend God healing hospitality to the sick, the elderly, and homeless in West Africa. Together, I know we can do it. We have idiom in my language that one finger cannot lick all the soup in the bowl. So all of us together, I know we can do it. If you are not ready today for your contribution, don't hesitate. Father told me that we have one or two weeks to contribute and just give to him for mission appeals in Togo. It, he will reach out to us. Thanks for helping make people feel help feel accepted and welcome in our society. Thank you, and don't hesitate to ask me any question you may have after mass. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, sister, for that beautiful homily. Um, it's good to hear the, the preaching from someone who's a missionary, and we talk in, in our country about, in America, about how the Catholic Church and religion is, is um, suffering, is dwindling. The churches are not full anymore here. We're closing parishes, uh, all religions. But in Africa, Catholicism is blossoming, is unbelievably strong. Uh, we're talking hundreds of millions of Catholics are now from Africa. Their churches are burgeoning. Their Sunday masses are unbelievably jammed uh, and crowded. It's a wonderful, lively church. So, sister, you remind us that the Catholic Church is 70% not American, 75% not American. It's mainly African in South America and Asian. And that's where Catholicism is thriving, where the church is literally, they can't build enough new churches to to keep the people to be able to, to worship on Sunday. So you are a reminder, sister, that the Catholic Church is much larger, thanks be to God, than the United States. It's a huge church. And your church is leading the way of renewal and of new, new Catholics. Uh, it's unbelievable. So you are a sign of hope to the worldwide Catholic Church, that if the church is alive and well, it's, it's growing. It's just not doing so well here at the moment. So you are giving us strength and hope for our own church that we can continue to grow uh, in your spirit. So thank you. Let us stand and in union with Sister Rose and her congregation and Catholics around the world, we pray. 
I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from God, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess from baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The love of the world is never ending. Let us ask the Lord to give us and all people whatever is for our good. That the Lord will show great kindness to the leaders of the church and sustain them in their call to service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That the Lord will show great kindness to the rulers of nations and strengthen them in their commitment to justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Lord will show great kindness to the victims of poverty and prejudice and answer their cries for help. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Lord will show great kindness to those who have died and raise them up to everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord will show great kindness to us as we remember our needs. That the Lord will grant us whatever is helpful and defend us from whatever is harmful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Today's special mass intentions are for Barbara Rep, And we also pray for all victims of violence in the city of Chicago. Clarante Cummings, Chantrice Bishop, Terence Foster, Aton Benoin, and Edward Henderson. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those who are in special need of our prayers, for those for whom we have promised to pray, and for those we pause to remember in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray for the millions of people who are struggling with all sorts of disasters, natural and otherwise, people like those in Maui and beyond. We pray that they will find new life as they rebuild their communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Sister Rose and all the, her beautiful ministry in the beautiful, thriving, her beautiful, thriving village. We pray for her and her congregation as they witness to the mystery of Christ's love in a thriving, thriving Catholic church in Africa. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for Sister Alex, um, one of our own, and she ministers to people in our country. For her, her order, and for her ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In loving God, our need for your mercy is great but your kindness to us is far greater. You've given us two sisters, two religious women of two different congregations who are signs to us of the church in its growth, its mercy, and in its love. Bless all of us and may we carry on their spirit of hospitality and welcome in our own parish. And we offer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated as we prepare the altar for the Eucharist. No gracious words we hear 
From Christ who spoke as none has spoke, but we believe him near. We may not touch the hands and side, nor follow where he tried. Yet in the promise we rejoice and cry. We cry, my Lord and God, you are my Lord. my friends, our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through baptism, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in the church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just at your salvation to give you thanks, Lord God, for you laid the foundations of the world. You have arranged a changing of the times and the seasons, and you formed us in your own image, setting humanity over the whole world and all of its wonder. To the angels, the archangels, and all the saints, we praise you as in joyful celebration we sing.
are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them at the dewfall. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Supper was ended. He took the chalice, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim. Celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life, this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to stand in your presence and to serve you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, successor to St. Peter, Blaise, our Bishop, and all those who lead us in faith. Remember those who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God and our Mother, with St. Joseph, with all the martyrs, the apostles, the saints, Teresa of Avila, St. Peter, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Son of God of the living God. Through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. with the risen Lord and pray the prayer of his kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from all that is evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all fear as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you look now in our sins and the faith of your beautiful people, the church. And graciously grant our church and our parish peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And share a sign of Christ's peace. Peace.
behold the Lamb of God, be him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ strengthen all of us to help the poor and the lonely. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. 
have our second collection today for the missionary, our sister Rose, and her congregation's wonderful ministry to the most vulnerable people on earth. Uh, those who are suffering poverty, injustices, and all sorts of very painful realities. And I think we have a wonderful announcement for our Together Enjoy. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Emily Duplessy. I am serve on the Together Enjoy committee. Um, and for any guests that we have with us today, Together Enjoy is our annual gala that we do to help raise the funds to help uh, facilitate St. Teresa of Avila as well as support our ministries that we do here so that we can support other ministries in far off places, um, you know, just to all together support St. Teresa's. This year, the gala is on Saturday, October 14th. It coincides with St. Teresa of Alva's feast day. Um, it will be a lovely celebration of St. Teresa's as well as St. Teresa of Alva and everything that we do here. Um, a few asks, we have uh, many tickets left to purchase. Uh, so if you wanna come, have a fabulous night, get to know St. Teresa members and uh, have fun as well, that is, um, something we're asking you all to do. The togetherenjoy.com is how you can go purchase those or on St. Teresa's website, uh, they are also there. As well as if you can't attend, I understand there's potentially some football games happening that day. Uh, we ask, you know, the raffle is also another way to participate uh, from far away if you cannot make it that night, as well as the silent auction. Uh, we will also have a live auction that will be very exciting if you do make it. Um, I have a, uh, put up a couple flyers across the church that highlight a few of those live auction items. Um, some very generous donations have come in, uh, like a six day, seven night stay at an Italian villa. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, that sounds awesome. Um, and then the lastly, uh, um, if you have any questions, we will be out front with some champagne mimosas, some rosé, uh, as well as at hospitality uh, if you would like to ask any questions or uh, say hello. So thank you all. Thank you for your hard work and the committee is marvelous. Thank you. <laughs> and I know um, a lot of people aren't here now, but we um, have to really push together and enjoy. It's a month earlier this year. So it's October, October 14th, it's a great venue. Uh, we sold almost 85 tickets, so it's half, almost half, and only about 10 raffle tickets. Um, so we need this to be as successful as we can, and we're behind because it's a month earlier this year. Uh, but our doors will remain open and vibrant to the extent that Together Enjoy is a success. If it is not a success, we're in, we, that we rely on that for, for everything. We rely on that for everything. So we have to really push it if you're going. I know there's football games, unfortunately, on that day. I guess they're important and um, many will not be there. Please donate if you're not going to be there for whatever reason. Um, but this is a call to please buy raffle tickets, and to come to the event. If you can't come, buy a ticket. We'll give it to someone else. But uh, we need to make this really successful if we're going to remain a vibrant parish. We have to have this happen. We have to make this work. So please think about it. Think about what you can do as a volunteer. And if you have financial resources available, if you're secure, please think about that. That is our future. And um, I'm only concerned because we're a month earlier this year and we're really behind. So please think about it. Uh, we have so much going on here. We have our Catechist the Good Shepherd. We need to register. And we have over 100 children in that program. And we over have seven outreach ministries to the poor and the vulnerable. But it relies on a staff maintaining our buildings. Um, there's lots to maintain, lots to maintain, and it costs a lot of money. We have to repair the roof. That might be $30,000. So we have to keep this moving. We have to keep this moving, and it demands financial contribution. So thank you for your generosity, for you, all of you who are supporting the parish. Those of you who are watching, so many give who are watching, 
Uh, so thank you if you're watching. Uh, we appreciate your love and your care of this community. It's really a special community. And I think we all know that. So thank you. And thank you, Sister Alex, for coming back. Uh, you made our day. And Sister Rose, you did a beautiful job giving testimony to the gospel to really vulnerable people in Africa. Uh, thank you for your beautiful, beautiful ministry. And I wish all of you the best. Have a beautiful last week of summer, officially. Next weekend is Labor Day. <clears throat> so please return. Get people to come back in person if you can. And have a beautiful week. And then there will be coffee and donuts afterwards in the Paris Center. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing beauty of your mercy. And graciously perfect and sustain us. So that in all things we may please you alone through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass, and we go in peace to serve the poor. Thanks be to God.